The 90s brought about some of the most unforgettable sitcoms that still influence the world to this day. These series gave people a new reason to laugh, to cry, and even to think deeper on the things happening in the world for black people. The 90s television definitely holds an irreplaceable foothold when it comes to shaping what entertainment should look like, both in the past and even in the present. We all know one of the best parts in the 90s was classic sitcom, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In this documentary, we will discuss why this outstanding sitcom brought laughs, tears, and anger throughout the six-year season, and why it reshaped the African-American culture television today. Smith Jr. was born on September 25th, 1968 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to Carolyn Bright, and Phil a Philadelphia school board administrator, and Willa Carroll Smith Sr., a U.S. Air Force veteran and refrigeration engineer. He grew up in West Philadelphia's Winfield neighborhood with elder sister named Pamela and two younger siblings, twins, Harry and Ellen. Smith attended Our Lady of Lourdes, a private Catholic elementary school in Philadelphia. His parents separated when he was 13, but did not actually divorce until around 2000. Smith attended Overbrook High School. While it has been widely reported that Smith turned down a scholarship to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, he never applied to college simply because he wanted to be a rapper. Smith says he was admitted to a pre-engineering summer program at MIT for high school students, but he ended up not attending. Will said this about the matter. My mother, who worked for the school board of Philadelphia, had a friend who was the admissions officer at MIT. I had pretty high SAT scores and they needed black kids, so I probably could have gotten in, but I have no intention of going to college. Smith started as the MC of the hip hop duo, DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, with his childhood friend, Jeffrey DJ Jazzy Jeff Townsend as a producer and DJ. Townsend and Smith met at a party in 1985. Towns was performing at the house parties at Smith's neighborhood and he needed to a hype man to fill in so Will took the cake. The chemistry was so strong that they both decided to join forces together as a duo group. Smith enlisted as a friend to join as the beatbox of the group. Clarence Holmes, Ready Roxy making them a trio. Philadelphia based Word Up Records released their first single in late 1985 to 1986 when A&R Paul Oakenfold introduced them to Word Up with their single, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble. A tale of funny misadventures that landed Smith and his former DJ and rap partner, Mark Forrest, Lord Supreme in Trouble. The song sampled the theme song of I Dream of Genie. Smith became known for light-hearted storytelling raps and capable, though, of profanity, free battle rhymes. This song did well on the charts right before Will graduated from high school. Due to this achievement, the duo were brought to the attention of Jive Records and Russell Simmons. Their first album was named Rock the House, which was the first release on Word Up in 1986, debuting on Jive in March 1987. At the Grammy Awards in 1989, they won their first Grammy Award for single, Parents Just Don't Understand, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble, and 1991 single, Summertime, reached number four on the Billboard music charts. Many people thought this show's story was a fantasy but the root of the show was actually based in reality. In 1990, music manager Benny Medina wanted to do a show semi-based off his life and how he grew up poor in East Los Angeles, California and became a friend with a rich white person when he was a teen. His friend's parents allowed him to move in their Beverly Hills mansion home to develop a life with a high-income family. While he was creating the sitcom Fresh Prince, he wanted to recreate the story of the show by having a black man from West Philadelphia moving in with his rich family in Bel Air, California. That way, we could explore black on black prejudice as well as black class differences, says Medina. He pitched the idea to music producer Quincy Jones, and he admired the idea so much that he got with NBC chief Brandon Talker Talk. Will was doing the taping at the Arsenio Hall show, and Medina decided to meet him there to tell him about the show, which Will thought would be a good idea, even though he was a rapper, not an actor. Even though Smith was known as a rapper 
Fresh Prince. His life at that time was in financial trouble. In 1988 and 1989, he owed the Internal Revenue Service $2.8 million. With this going on, he became determined to become the biggest actor in the world, reaching known by staying in box budget offices. One night at a party at Quincy Jones' house, Medina and Smith met to go over the pilot of the sitcom. He handed Smith the pilot and performed his role in front of Tarkatov. He did so well that after three months, the pilot was shot. The theme song, Your Home to Bel Air, was written and performed by Will Smith, and the music was composed by Quincy Jones. To finish off the completion of the show, they needed to finish casting characters. James Avery, who played the lawyer and judge as Uncle Phil Banks, was an actor on Broadway, and his agent called him to let him know about the creation of this sitcom, which is about a rapper named Fresh Prince, which he had no idea who he was. Executive producers Andy and Susan Borowitz contacted Janet Hubert to do an audition on tape to play Wendy Banks as Will's aunt and did so great she won her role on the spot. In the original plot, director Debbie Allen created Hubert's character name as Wendy Banks but decided to change it to Vivian Banks because that's her mother's name which she thought it would be better. Alfonso Ribeiro was known as the kid that played Ricky Schroeder's friend off a TV show Silver Spoon. He was also known to be the great dancer that played in commercials such as Michael Jackson's Pepsi commercial in 1984. He auditioned to play the son of the family named Carlton Banks. Both Borowitz wanted someone to be able to play opposite of Smith's character, which is to develop conflict between the two. He performed well that he won his part on the show. Karen Parson, who played the oldest sibling of the family, Hillary Banks went to the audition and performed in front of both Susan and Andy and after two minutes they admired her so much that she won her role on the spot. Tatiana Ali will also go on to play the youngest child of the family, Ashley Banks, after scoring the role. She had been acting in Broadway since the age of four and it was extremely admired by both executive producers that went she auditioned for and she won her part of the show just like that. The executive producer thought adding a British actor on the show as a butler would make the show more appealing to his audience, which I got someone who was great for the role, actor Joseph Marcel, who played Jeffrey Butler. His real British voice was so outstanding that he won his role on the show. Now that the cast of Fresh Prince of Bel Air now has been complete, but Will wanted to add something else. Smith also included his rap partner and friend DJ Jazzy Jeff on the show to play his friend Jazz. Jazz was a cool friend that could be annoying towards the Banks family and was extremely flirtatious towards the oldest daughter, Hilly, which Uncle Phil disliked so much that he threw Jazz out of the house, which this scene is showed repeatedly throughout the whole sitcom. <laughs> the first episode of Fresh Prince premiered on September 10th of 1990. Throughout the six year series, Fresh Prince gained tremendous success. At the ASCAP Film and Television Music Awards, Smith, Quincy Jones, and DJ Jazzy Jeff won for the top TV show in the 1994 and Alfonso Rivera won for Outstanding Actor in the Comedy Series in 1996. At the Image Awards, Tatiana Ali won for Outstanding Youth Actress Actor in 1997. We all know Will is known for being a rapper performing songs such as Summertime, Getting Jiggy With It, and Miami. Alfonso Rivera doing the car dance and performing Michael Jackson's Billie Jean on Soul Train. Janet Huber's beautiful voice, Tatiana Ali singing. To keep the show more entertaining, Fresh Prince had multiple famous people on the show, such as D.L. Hughley. I want to be rich so I can sleep late. Because when you broke, you know you got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Chris Wark. Thank you. May I present Miss Jasmine Perry? <laughs> Which one of you handsome men's is Big Willie? Pierce! Sherman Hemsley. <laughs> and Isabel Sanford. Yeah, she always been like that? Nah, she used to be mean. <laughs> Gary Coleman. <laughs> William Shatner. Hello, Mr. William Shatner. <laughs> Hi. Oprah Winfrey, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Wow, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Thank you. Pleased to meet you. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Tisha Campbell and many more. Man, I still watch Fresh Prince. I've been watching Fresh Prince since uh, it came on when we were back in the nineties. Ah, oh, man, it's like it still comes on. Like I think right now they on uh, 
what is it, HBO Max? Yeah, they like HBO Max. I've been watching it, like the shows and everything. He's like Marty, doesn't get old. Doesn't get old, man. It's not fun. Since I was too young to remember, I think I was maybe a teenager, maybe a kid when I started watching this show. My favorite character was Carlton. He was always getting into something. <laughs> Of course, Will was great, but Carlton, he was he was the comic relief. It was, he had that dance, um, he was perfect. He like, he didn't really understand, or not that he didn't understand, but he was sheltered. Like that episode where, um, where he discovered racism. If we would have had a map, we wouldn't have had to drive two miles an hour trying to find a freeway entrance, and we wouldn't have been stopped. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. We were stopped because we were driving too slow. We were breaking the slowness limit. Oh, okay. Well, you see, I never heard of that law before, but I did hear this other law. It's called the, if you see a black guy driving anything but a burnt out Pinto, you better stop him because he stole it law. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, but see, I, I thought it was the black guy law, when in actuality, it was the slowness limit law. Oh, phew. thank you for sharing that with me, Carlton. Good night. That was, it was funny, but it was also eye-opening, especially, the way that it was written and in the time that it was written. I mean, back then, they didn't really talk about racism that much like they do now, but I mean, that was just, that was an epic episode. Jeffrey, man, Jeffrey. I'm telling you, he just, he, I think they didn't, they, as, as it came to an end, or got closer to like further in the season when it wasn't so new, they let Jeffrey do more comedy. He was just funny. Jeffrey, you look great today. Have you done something different with your hair? Yes, I stopped pulling it out. <laughs> I love that kind of humor. He's that kind of, uh, it's kind of old school humor. That kind of low tone, sarcastic. And I think that was uh, definitely my favorite category. And, and him and Carlton, they were close first because uh, they they both had some unique comedy skills about themselves. And I, I really like that. That was really cool. The fun is, I said all the time, when Ashley was singing on stage, and Will and Carlton are backup dancers. <laughs> and she had that show, and Uncle Phil found out, and he was upset with Will and Carlton, and they were on the stage dancing with her, and then they was running from him, and then he was on the stage dancing. It was just, it was just hilarious, because there was so much going on behind her, and she was oblivious to it. <laughs> that, that was like one of the funniest things that Uncle Phil came in there. I started chasing him around and dancing with them. And like he was going over the song. That was so bad. No, that was a fun. That that's it was like it was like it was improv a lot, but it was really good. Really good, really funny. Sadly, on May 20th, 1996, the Fresh Prince came to an end. Will did multiple movies such as Men in Black, Bad Boys 1 and 2, Enemy of State, Seven Pounds, Bad Boys for Life, and many, many more. He also co-created the 2003 show All of Us with his wife and acclaimed actress Jada Pinkett Smith. The Alfonso played in LL Cool J's 90s sitcom In the House as Maxwell Stanton and became TV show host not only America's Funniest Home Video but Catch 21. He also won Dancing with the Stars. Jenny Hubert appeared as a guest star on shows such as Jamie Foxx and Bernie Mac. Tatiana played on The Brothers and Norris Hair Salon. Joseph appeared as a guest on shows Living Single and In the House. Karen appeared on Melrose Place in movies Ladies Man. James Avery appeared in 1997 shows Sparks with actors and actresses Miguel Nunez Jr., Terrence Howard, and Robin Givens. He also appeared on In the House, All of Us, Jamie Foxx, and Soul Food. Unfortunately, on December 31st, 2013, James Avery passed away at the Glendale Memorial Medical Center due to a complication from an open heart surgery. He was only 68 years old. Will Smith quoted on Avery's death, some of my greatest lessons in acting, living, and being a respectable human being came through James Avery. Every young man needs an Uncle Phil in their life. Rest in peace. Janet Hubert's quote on Avery's death, all the world is a stage and we are merely players in this production called life. Alfonso Ribeiro on Avery's death, the world has lost a truly special man. I'm very sad to say that James Avery has passed. Even though he played my father on TV, he was a wonderful father figure to me in life. He will be deeply missed. Avery was an icon to many fans and fellow actors alike is still sorely missed by many. 
his impact on the show and many lives are felt to this day. Fresh Prince will forever be known as one of the most hilarious, influential, and powerful sitcoms of the 90s. With this vibrant cast of this world storylines and heartwarming moments, it continues to entertain thousands all over the world to this day. It has stood the test of time and proven itself to be one of the best 90s sitcoms to ever air and holds that crown even now.